Some good celebrations as well coming up as well. <laughs> yeah. We like talk the celebration. Us, talk yeah. us through this, will it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the official Leeds United podcast. So, uh, please welcome um, one of the stars of 2024, Mr. Wilfred Nonso. Hi. <laughs> How are nice you, mate? Nice to see you. I'm really good, thanks. And you? Uh, very, very well. I've been looking forward to getting you on this show for years now. I've been pushing years. to get you on for s- years, mate. I've been looking forward to getting you on here big time. It's a really <laughs> big welcome to the show from us. This is uh, one I've been looking forward to. Thank you very much. I've been improving my English a bit to to be able to speak to you now. I'm ready, I think. Is that what we've been waiting for? I've, Have you been on yeah, the old Duolingo, so. just trying to get ready for the oh, show? Every day, <laughs> every day, <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Um, well, I mean, look, 2024 for you has, has been, has been fantastic. Um, the, obviously the summer is, 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 is long behind us now. Um, but we were, we were chatting about, about you before you came on and what we all talked to you about. And, and the word redemption kept coming up. Um, you know, cause obviously we've been through some trying times, but you, you're absolutely flying this year. Um, and the maturity you've showed, you know, five goals, one assist, um, to just get head, get your head down and get on with it. Like it must be feeling like a, a fresh start and that you've really just smashed it so far. Yeah, I think so. I think 2024 is going really well for me and for the team as well. Uh, I wouldn't say redemption because like I know what I can do. I'm, I'm pretty sure of my qualities. And I'm, I can say I'm con- confident, not arrogant, but I'm confident, you know? Yeah. And yeah, I just believe in myself. I believe in the work that I put in, even like when things were not going well. And you know how football is, it's tough for maybe like mentally, you are a bit down. I've always been lucky to have my family with me. And yeah, of mm-hmm. course, my, my teammates with me. And now I'm, I'm really happy at the moment. I'm happy because I'm finally showing what I can do and I'm helping the team as well. Yeah, I think it's like, from my point of view, obviously watching all the games, home and away, you know, I've just seen a difference in all of you, not just yourself. I think all of you seem to have a, a mindset which is really strong. You all have the, the right attitude, the right mentality, and you all look like you want to improve and get better. Um, and I think from, you know, from my point of view as an ex-player looking in, it looks great. It looks like you're all on the same page. You all, you all enjoy, it looks like you all enjoy each other's company. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you're all friends off the pitch, you know, and stuff that that's key. You know, going back to my era, you know, I played for Leeds in 2000, yeah. you know, you weren't even born probably. No, well, I you wasn't. weren't born. So, you know, so, <laughs> but, but you know what? I, Nothing really changes too much. Just you guys mm-hmm. are a lot fitter than what we were. Of course, like you have more uh, experience than me. And I can say you have experienced many things in football, you know, but I can say in, uh, I think this season, uh, the difference has been that everyone is just enjoying himself. Uh, every day we just come in yeah. and we are happy to see each other. We joke, we are, we are really having fun on the pitch, but still, of course, working out, you know? Yeah. And I feel like this has been a bit the difference between this year and maybe I would say last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. I wouldn't say like, it's not about quality because of course last year we had like, uh, yeah, yeah. many international players, I don't know, players who have won in Italy, yeah. who have played in Spain, everywhere. But maybe this season, the difference is that we enjoy ourselves a bit more and you can see the results on the pitch. All leads aren't we? The official Leeds United podcast. Obviously, as professional athletes, you have to have a, 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 a superhuman idea of your own ability and belief, but when we were 17 points off Leicester or when we were, you know, however many points we were even off second place, did you guys still think there's a long way to go in this season? We we can do this. I mean, I, as a fan, I, I'll be honest, I didn't. Um, I'm, I'm always a nervous <laughs> wreck looking at the table, but were you guys yeah. like, no, we, we, we've got enough quality in this side. We can do this. I think uh, it's been tough, of course, for us. I would say start of the season uh, and also like, during the season has been tough, but because we have seen, I don't know, Leicester, Ipswich flying. Mm. And at that point, you see, like, I don't know, we have been 17 points from, from Leicester or from Ipswich as well, like second place. And it's tough at that point to say, Oh, look, 
we can win the league or we can yeah. be second. But like, the more you go, the more you play, the more you win, you get the confidence to say, oh, look, I can be there. And after we beat Leicester, I think for me was the game when I really understood, look, we can go and win the league because we won against them away first time. Yeah. And you can actually tell like, look, they are the first, but we still go there, play our football, dominate the game. Yeah. So why can we not do it? You know, of course it's, it's tough. They lost some points. We have always been focusing on ourselves and now we are there fighting, you know? So I feel like we are in a good position to, to achieve our goals. If anything, what exactly happened at the end of the year? You know, we had them, them back to back defeats and then suddenly, we haven't lost <laughs> since <laughs> we've conceded three goals. I mean, what yeah. I mean, did the manager get you all together? Um, did, what what changed? I mean, the form has just been incredible. Uh, I don't know. I don't think anything's really changed, you know, because we had like the back to back defeats. And if you actually look at the games, I feel like we have been a bit unfortunate. I feel like we just kept going really. And, uh, of course, like, I feel like when you are, we work hard, you keep going, you are positive, you believe, then the luck come on your side. And that's have been the difference, of course. And like when you start to win a couple of day, games, the confidence is at, at the top, maybe, and everything comes quicker, I think. So yeah, I think it's been a bit, this is the difference really, but in the way we have done things, I don't think there's been a, a big difference. It's been the same. I think your mindset's very, very strong. I can see it in your eyes. It's a strong mindset. <laughs> Thank you. I've got one. I've got one. You have to have that. If you want to get going with life, you've got to have that mindset. Whatever happens to you, you move forward. And I've seen that within you. So well done Thank for you. that because it's not an yeah. easy thing to organise your mind when it comes to decisions. And you've you've made better decisions for me, even Thank though the light's much. just gone off. That's the <laughs> light's gone off because yeah, I don't know. I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. But yeah, no, thank just, you very just much seems, for, you know, it's, thank it's, you very it's much. important. I think it's important to sometimes tell people they're doing well. We don't yeah, do enough agreed. of it without thank getting you. carried away. You know, we, we, we know that someone's yeah, no, in of a course. Good, yeah, that's, that's important. And I think, you know, I can say that, but you know, I'm sure the manager will <laughs> be saying you. that, but I can say it because I'm, uh, I'm just a punter no, or whatever, is, you know. He, no, it is quite fair yeah. because like, of course there have been like many, uh, uh, moments in this season where I haven't been at the top, you know, and he was also there telling me, <laughs> like, yeah. not that I needed sure. him to tell me because I, of course I, I expect a lot yeah. from myself, but yeah. sure. he was there telling me as well, like maybe like in training when he thinks I can do better, he's always there telling you, but when you do good things, he's also there telling you. And I feel like that's yeah. fair, you know, because okay. it has to go both ways. And yeah. Yeah, as you said, uh, I think, yeah, with the, with the, like the defenders that we have, it's just, I think, easier for all the offensive players, you know. Of course, we know that we have to track back, we have to run back, and it's not the best thing to do for us, but it's important because I, I feel like certain games, this can make the difference, you know. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, when you know that your back is covered, you know that in front, you are in your comfort zone. I know that yeah. I can create something. Cree can create something. Then James can create something. But, uh, Matteo, we have enough quality to go and win games. But at the end of the day, uh, if you want to win championship uh, or leagues, or I don't know, whatever, you have to make sure the back is good. And right. that's what we are trying to do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Fark has talked about it this season about, you know, it can't always be champagne football. And sometimes, particularly yeah. in this league... <laughs> Particularly yeah. this league, we've got to win ugly at times, and it seems yeah. like we've we've figured out a way to do that this year. Um, I mean, there's been a couple of games that like the Stoke game wasn't pretty, but it was a win. Um, and it's games like that when you guys have got to really put that graft in, isn't it? And 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 help out the lads and defend, and particularly with the schedule. I mean, that must have been tough. What was it? Ten games in in and no, four games in ten days. I mean, how yeah. how was that? No, this was horrible, you know. <laughs> I think <laughs> this was the first time in like my professional career. I've only played for four seasons, but I've never had something like this. And I didn't even know yeah. it was possible. And of course, like when you have that many games, 
it's tough to play sexy football every week, you know, every yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So like you have to make sure even when you are not of your best, you have to take the points. If you can win ugly, you win ugly, you take mm-hmm. the points and you go, you know. And I think this was what as as I said, we this was a bit the difference between this uh couple of games that we have won and before, because maybe before we we're always like close. But maybe like a situation goes against us now. Yeah. We are there. We are on it. Every situation is for us. Maybe, I don't know, Sheffield Wednesday, they come, uh, first half, we are not that good. One nil for us. Second half, we play better. Two nil. We win. Mm-hmm. Stoke. Yeah. Not the best game. One nil. We win. So I, I yeah. think these are the ways that can make the difference at the end. I want to ask about uh, the Yorkshire Derbies, you know, I mean, having them with obviously Stoke jammed in between, but the two Yorkshire Derbies away from home, obviously we don't care about them very much, but they are obsessed with us. Um, So um, what was it like going away to those places? I mean, obviously on the pitch, it was tough enough. I mean, I could see them trying to wind yourself up in particular. They were constantly niggling, constantly just trying to to have a go at you and Cree. Um, But how was the atmospheres at those games? It was amazing, you know. I feel like we this team likes a bit the pressure, you know. We don't really care okay. about derbies because we don't really care about them. But I just wanted to go and win the games. But mm-hmm. like the the both fans were amazing, and it was really good to play against them. I think Huddersfield was tough because they, of course, they knew that probably we were better than them, so their plan was a bit trying to annoy us, try to be yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And at times they've done it, you know, it was not easy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. They probably have done it quite well. But yeah, Sheffield, as I said, they try to play a bit more. First half were not that good, but second half we just closed the games and yeah. Well, I'll come back to the league in a minute because I want to talk about, um, you know, a c- couple of things that we've got coming up. But I think it'd be really great because we've not had you on the show before. I-, I would love to get to know you as a guy, like, you know, obviously Italian, you were playing your trade in Switzerland before you came to Leeds. How how did you get into football and how did you end up being in uh, at Zurich? I used to live like close to a, a five-a-side pitch. So I used to like see from my window uh, the old guys playing. And I've always really like wanted to play, not to be a footballer, but just to play and enjoy myself. So and this is back in Italy, where, where, to, this is, whereabouts? Is uh, Verbani is like a small town close one hour from Milan. Okay. And yeah, I just started to play with my dad, my cousins and my friend just one meter from my house, you know, and that's how I started really. Then of course I, I was lucky enough and I think uh, good to have my like parents like mine, you know, because they have made incredible sacrifices for me and then growing up, I wanted to give something back. And now I, I'm, I'm in a place when like football is life, like Leeds, you know, and I feel like that's the best gift that I can give to my parents. Are they, are they so, in Leeds? Yeah. Did you, did you move them over to, to yeah, England? They are with me. Yeah. We live together. We live together. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting because it's interesting because my dad's Italian. So oh, yeah. um, Matteo, he, brought yeah. me up, he brought me up and now he's here from a little village as well in uh, called yeah. Vanafro, okay. which is a, a little, it's about an hour south of, mm-hmm. of, um, of Naples. And, yeah. you know, I just love being around the Italian people when I, when I go over to see my family, which is not very often. It was amazing. Everything was amazing. I just love it. And I'm, I just love the Italian food as well. I <laughs> yeah. must admit, I just love it. I can eat Italian food every day. I know you probably can't, but I tell you uh, yeah. what, I just love the Italian food. I love yeah, the pasta. You, you can come to mine. I can right, invite listen, you, you know. <laughs> Willie, that, t- listen, mate, Willie, that, I will take you up on that, mate. Believe oh, me. The, and I can eat. You better, bring, you better bring a lot of food. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I have 10 My kids. mom is a good cook. I have 10, 10 kids. kids. No, it's really? not. Really? Only three. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got three. Three that I know of. <laughs> so you you grew up playing football, little five-a-side pitch outside Milan. Um, and then um did, did was it Zurich that, that scouted you? Like how did you how did you move on to playing in professional? I was first at Inter Milan from okay. eight eight till sixteen, just before COVID. 
And then uh, I've decided with my family that if I really want to like to play professional football, maybe uh, going to a smaller team, so I can say a smaller league as well, was mm-hmm. good for me. And yeah. yeah, Zurich was the perfect choice for me because I had the chance to like uh, play straight away international football, like yeah. professional football, sorry. Oh. And I was 16 at the time. So I think this was the perfect choice at the time. And yeah, I wouldn't be here if probably if I didn't go to, to Zurich, you know. So I think I'm, I did it quite well. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful part of the world as well. You could you could yeah. be playing in worse places, um, yeah. but then also, obviously, you're playing in Switzerland. Um, but yeah. then to get the call from the national team, I mean, what was that like? This was, I don't know. I don't. I actually don't know. I still don't know how how it, <laughs> how it happened. You know, because like it was the first time that a player from Switzerland was called up with the national team. Right. I was like, a bit surprised. First, it was like a stage with all the young players, but then, uh, the coach Mancini told me that he wanted me to stay with the actual team. And I was just living the dream, like, <laughs> like eyes open with all my idols, like one year before they won the Euros. So they were, yeah, for I, me, I they were like it well. the best. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't but, worry. I was happy. But my dad yeah, still got like that massive dream. Italian flag outside yeah. his house. <laughs> Listening on together. There's another player that I, I want to talk about. Uh you seem to spend a bit of time with with Georgie as well. Yeah, yeah. Um what what um I mean, I've met Georgie and, and he's exactly what you get on the, exactly what it says on the tin. I mean, he's, he is that, isn't he? He's crazy. But he's like, crazy. Like, what a guy. Like, it must be so much fun to have him around the training ground. Around, I mean, probably gets a bit too much sometimes, but how, how is it? How is it having him around? Honestly, one of the funniest person I ever met. Like, honestly, it's just lots of energy every day. Like from the morning on the pitch, just laughing, enjoying himself. And I'm really happy for him, you know, because I feel mm. like he deserves it. Like everything he's doing now is just incredible. And I, I was there when he was a bit down. I know what he, he, he went through. And now seeing him smashing it, I, I'm just proud of him, you know, because he's a good guy. He's just funny guy. He's always working out. And yeah, I feel like he yeah, needs think, yeah, some think, type yeah, of I think character. you're so right. I think, I think, you know, the work rate he puts in, yeah, and the way he gets hold of that ball yeah. and looks after the ball as well. Yeah, it's yeah. so good for you guys, that isn't it? When you've yeah. got a player like that. And yeah. by the way, I'd hate to mark him. I'd like, I'd hate to, to be honest, I'd hate to mark any of yous. But he <laughs> is he he is like he just got so many tricks. And sometimes I'm looking, I'm like, what's he what's he actually trying here? I think yeah, he's a he has a mix between like technique and also like like strong, like he can yeah, go in yeah, duels, yeah. he can win, he can actually smash you. Like, so yeah. it's difficult to get the ball from him. Like, I don't actually know how you can yeah. get the ball from him. Yeah, he's it's very clever. stuff is incredible. Yeah. I think him yeah. and Cree together are horrible yeah. for other defenders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't want to talk about the R word too much and relegation, but, um, you know, through adversity breeds, breeds strength. And, and, you know, you guys came down, went through that period and, and, and you've come out the other side of it together. This, there, there seems to have been a, a bond that you've all formed off the back of it. I mean, it, it, do you really sense that you were all in the trenches together and you're all really looking out for each other in a way that might not necessarily have happened if we hadn't, if it hadn't gone the way it had? Yeah. I think the fact that we were in that situation all together. Uh, makes us a bit stronger, you know, and we are stronger together. I think we have a good relationship. It's crazy to think like just a couple of months make, can make this big difference. Yeah. And hopefully we can all go back where we all deserve and maybe just do things a bit differently because I have like a feeling that last season we could have done way better. But yeah, you know, like he's, I think he's experienced and now, um, we are seeing that everyone took something from, from that situation. And yeah. I honestly can't wait to be back there and to have the opportunity to show what we really are. 
And you, I mean, you're all so young. You were young, but you're still young. I mean, that, that it's, it, it's going to be the ma- it seems to me like it's been the making of, of, of some of you, honestly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can see, like, I can say Georgie, uh, Cree, I don't know, Pascal, everyone, mm. Elon, what they're doing now, it's incredible. Maybe last year, I don't know, Pat, for example, Coops, last year they were criticized. They were a bit down. They were, they, they went through a lot. And now look at them now, like they took from it. Maybe they're even stronger. So imagine what was going to happen if you go back up. We have a good team. We are solid. We are strong. We have fun together. Good group. Mm-hmm. It's exciting to be here now, you know? It, it's, ex- it's exciting to be a fan right now, Matt. Yeah, I think sometimes you have to go through them bad days to come out the other side and improve as a player. You know, I know that with my journey, with my, my illness and stuff, I know how important that living with adversity kind of side mm-hmm. is. That you, every day I, I, I get out there, I do something, I try and improve myself, I try and... You know, I can't read, I can't write anymore, I can't do a lot of stuff. But what I can do, I will go and do it. And, you know, from a football point of view, that's what I see with you guys. You've been through some bad times, but you've come out the other side and you're improving and getting better and you're getting better as a team, as a unit. And that is so important. You know, it really is. And, and you know, seeing you and you guys enjoying your football puts a smile on everyone's face. And, you know, you, and the great thing about you boys, you're always smiling. Typical yeah. strikers, <laughs> typical strikers, always smiling. <laughs> defenders, I never see the defenders smiling too much. The strikers, uh, the strikers they're smiling they're like, they're well, as well. Yeah, yeah. Not, they're no, not smiling on the pitch, but they are no. smiling yeah. after, you know, because yeah. you can see they're good guys, really. You can and see by the way, there's some good celebrations as well coming up as well. <laughs> yeah. They like talk the celebration. Us, talk yeah. us through this, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about fans or something, you know. Is I would never like I respect everyone. No, 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 no. And I see like some people took it a bit on the other way, but no, like it's I, just I, a I, funny thing that came at home, you know. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to do it on the pitch. It's for a, a, an important person for me, and it's a lucky charm now. I don't think anyone took it. Uh, negatively, if it was if it was Wednesday fans, then who, who cares? Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, as I say, I wanted to get you on here for a long, long time since the day you signed. Um, <laughs> which, which it actually, it, it's mad that it was last year. It feels like you've been with us for such a long time. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's been a real pleasure, Willie. Thank you for being so open, honest with us, and 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 uh, just being such a great personality around the club. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. This is the official Leeds United podcast.